and I hold this microphone in my hand, a glass of water. Water is development, water is human rights, and water is peace. And I'll make these points. It's first on development. This glass of New York tap water is a luxury, a dream, for 768 million people around the world. 2.5 billion people don't have sanitation, which is a euphemism for toilets. 1.1 million people practice open defecation. I'm breaking all of taboos here, don't I? This problem of sanitation primarily is the reason why I now lean back and take this figure in. 2,000 children under the age of five are dying every day. And this is to me one of the biggest shames that we uh, continue to accept in the world. I was in Darfur, I was in Somalia. I saw children dying in front of me out of Dagari, Alexander, dehydration, cholera. And I said to myself, we've got to get rid of this horrible problem. Still, believe it or not, this is the most lagging of the Millennium Development Goals. We need to speed up that work, and I am starting our campaign on behalf of Secretary of Ban Ki Moon, a call for action and sanitation. And I count on governments, I count on civil society, I count on all of you, I count on the private sector, research and science to really make their contributions. Because if we do sanitation right, then we have great progress in extreme poverty, child mortality, maternal health, uh, gender equality, and again, in education, because it has such a tremendous multiplication effect. And it is the most lagging. So we need all the efforts uh, from you and others to make this, make this speed up this implementation. Also, it's good business. People who are don't have the problem with health, they're more productive. <laughs> girls can go to school. The girls don't have to stay home with the, the children and so forth. So it's, it's, a, it's a huge issue to move on the sanitation issue. So I really appeal to you to use your sense of innovation and help us move this process forward. And what, what, what can you then do for us? First of all, I think you can help us take away this taboo. This taboo about uh, toilets and sanitation. I finished a speech in the United Nations. Instead of the last sentence being, I want us all to have a life in dignity for all, I said, I, we, we need a life with toilets for all. But I think the interpreter got a bit confused. My, my, latest, uh, my latest contribution to diplomatic discourse is open defecation. So, <laughs> so whatever you can do to, to break down that taboo and really look at it straight straightforwardly and do something about it, it's very helpful. And you and the social media and all the main methods that you have to also raise that awareness is of course extremely important. And then those of you who have engineered dreams or, or something of that nature, if you can think about methods of having more of circulation so that we have we make fertilizer because we can't you know, use four or five liters of water every time in water scarce uh, environments. And if you can think about purification, of water and also installation so that we don't use so much water uh, for what we call brown water in the agriculture where the circulation happens. Whatever you can do to help us with innovation in this area is going to be absolutely important. And by that, you will contribute to the achievement of the Let Me Go, improving this most lagging modes and having this multi multiplication effect so that we can indeed, what I hope to God we will do, we will should decide that. By 2030, we should finish extreme poverty in the world. And that should be our job.